<clears throat> Today is the feast day of St. Athanasius, and as we heard in the opening prayer, he was uh, known for vigorously defending the divinity of Christ, right? In the early church, there were several heresies that de- denied Christ's divinity. They just said he was a special person. Uh, he was someone that God perhaps adopted or chose um, or gave some special ability to <clears throat> in order to uh, complete the work of the Messiah, the work of salvation. Um, but in reality, uh, he has to be God in order to complete the work of the Messiah because man cannot rise from the dead. Only God can uh, defeat death. <clears throat> so uh, it, I think it's a heresy that kind of continues to pop up throughout time um, and maybe in particular uh, in our current time, denying the divinity of Christ, looking to Jesus as just simply some guru or some teacher or someone who had these wise sayings, but not necessarily recognizing him to be God. And I've been uh, reading several different things over the last uh, few days, just kind of trends in the church, right? You know, you come to church and you've got these young priests and, you know, there's Latin and there's incense and we talk about sin and confession and things like that. You're like, what, what happened, right? What happened to the, the 70s and the 80s where we talked about uh, social justice and we talked about, um, you know, making ourselves better people? Um, wh- where, did, where did that go? Um, and it's not that that went away. It's not that that uh, is um, uh, not part of uh, the, the social teachings of the church Uh, are irrelevant, but rather it's that they flow forth from who God is. They flow forth from who Jesus Christ is. Jesus Christ is true God and true man. If he were just simply man, we wouldn't be here. If he were just simply man, he would be forgotten. If he were just simply man, um, there would be no work of salvation. But because he is God, that is something so otherly right? Because Jesus is God, that is something that we cannot comprehend. Because Jesus is God, that is something that transcends time. It transcends space. It's something that is mystical. It is something that we cannot put into uh, simple human words. We try as best we can. We have saints like Athanasius that wrote out the Athanasian Creed, which is like it takes like 20 minutes to say the Athanasian Creed, so don't worry, we won't do it on Sundays. Um, but we look and we ask, we say, well, why, why, how can we better explain God? By recognizing the mystery, right? By recognizing that he is the same God who created us, the same God who put the world into motion. He is the same God who uh, began Uh, uh, time. He is the same God who first spoke to Abraham, who spoke to Moses. He is the God who conquered sin and death. We cannot comprehend that. We cannot comprehend that. And so God is other. And so in our encounter with God, particularly in the Mass, there is to be otherness, It is to be different. It shouldn't be like what we do the rest of our life. It shouldn't be like part of our routine. It shouldn't be something, excuse me, it shouldn't be something um, that just sort of looks like everything else that I do throughout the day. But rather, it is other. It is other because it leads us to the divine, it sets us apart. We recognize that when we are uh, in this building, when we are in this place, we are doing something completely, uniquely different from anything else that we will ever do. Because we are encountering God, we are encountering our Creator, we are encountering the one who loved us into being, who loved us into existence. That ought to really just rock our world. That ought to cause us to just drop our knees, drop to our knees, to just look and to say, wow, God, you came to be present to me. 
walking on the road to Calvary, hanging on the cross, thinking of me. What is our response to that? Do we just simply say, oh, that's nice. Or do we look and really just focus on awe and wonder, that goodness? God died for me. It's a beautiful thing. I mean, we could, we could just sit here and meditate upon that for hours. I don't save myself. My actions aren't what bring salvation. My good works that I do, those are good, especially when they're inspired from our love and knowledge of God. But only God saves. So on this feast day of St. Athanasius, and as we continue in this Easter season, focusing on the joy of the resurrection of our Lord, let us continue to meditate on the mystery of his divinity, that he took on our flesh so that we could take on his divinity, so that we could become part of him. Let us reflect on that and let us never grow weary or uh, let us never grow comfortable with the mystery of the divinity.